We were driving across country and we were driving from New York to Chicago. And that drive from New York to Chicago, I caught myself swerving into oncoming traffic. I, I found myself literally playing chicken with another car. Yikes. And to John Keith yelling at me, Are you okay, bro? Bruce Lawn. Before we get into that, guys, my name is Bruce Lawn, and this channel exists to encourage you to master mind your business the master's way. You may not be subscribed yet, so if you aren't, please hit that subscribe button. All right, now let's get into the video. I wanted to open up with something that I don't think we talk about enough on this channel, and it is the chasm between where we currently are and where we would like to be in the future. And I gotta just tell you guys a brief story. In, in 2018, Zach Sparazzo was with me and I was playing chicken. I didn't know I was playing chicken, okay? We were driving across country. We had just dropped you off at the airport okay. and we were driving from New York to Chicago. And that drive from New York to Chicago, I caught myself swerving into oncoming traffic. I don't remember what freeway it was. I don't remember what night of the week it was, but I remember I saw my life flash before my eyes for a brief moment. Nice. And what was happening was we went on tour. Now, when you normally <laughs> go on tour, there's a driver, there's a merch person, there's promoter, there's someone to run sound, there's someone to run merch. I, yeah, I did all that myself. And Zach and John Keith helped out a little bit. Yeah, set okay. up a table. Set up a table. And I did most of the driving in my wife's 2012 Mazda minivan. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not a real minivan, it's a mini minivan. We had this bright idea of bringing a heat press because in the heat press, we could make the merch custom. We'd have the prints and then we'd push, push, and they'd be like, and we're like, yeah, this is so cool. It was awful. Everything about it was awful. It was terrible. So much uh, extra work. So much extra work. So much extra setup. You, you, we're, we're at a merch table and there's steam coming from our merch because it was hot. It was brutal. And driving down, the freeway, I, I found myself literally playing chicken with another car. Yikes. And to, to, to John Keith yelling at me, Are you okay, bro? Something of the sort. So we ended up pulling over, and I got McDonald's breakfast. Okay. We had another ritual of one of our many rituals, which is um, watching the sunrise Gosh. after a long drive. Yeah. Okay. And I uh, ate some Mickey D's and rested for a little bit and got back on the road, made it to Chicago, did a show, slept for a couple of hours. And then me and him truck trucked it all the way down from Chicago across Colorado through New Mexico, across Arizona, barely made it back to San Diego. And I was playing chicken. I, I wasn't just playing chicken with the car on the freeway. I was playing chicken with burnout, complete mentally losing it, financial chicken. Mm -hmm. relational chicken and spiritually i was in a very 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 dry place now what was interesting is i came home and i continued in this kind of self-destructive pattern of staying up until two or three in the morning working on music <laughs> and uh drinking exorbitant amounts of caffeine making runs to uh, peterson's donut corner at two in the morning after a workout after a workout but what was interesting was that within that six month window and zach could testify to this within that six month window i by the grace of god was able to completely transform everything about my life within six months i was in the best shape i had ever been in my life within six months i was turning my business around to a direction it had never been. Within six months, I became more consistent and productive. Within six months, I close to doubled my income because that was around the time we started Patreon. Within six months, I was in rooms with multimillionaires who gave me the very same, gave me the same information that led to the skill set that got me to making YouTube a full-time career that came at the end of 2020. So this is mid-2018, end of 2020, everything turned around. Hmm. And it was on the back of two things. First thing is proximity with the right people, access to the right information and implementation of said information. Mm. And that was all anchored on me being able to reassess where I was at, go to the places we needed to go, which we drove somewhere. August. So this is, we came back at like April-ish, March, April was around Southwest, yep. South by Southwest, came back. And in August of 2018, I had cracked 5,000 subscribers. I had taken my after photos. I was shredded. I was, I was eating clean and everything was beginning to turn around. And, and the thing that happened August, 2018 for me, could you pull that up for me? Um, that's circling back. That may be a thing that if you're in the region or if you can afford it is coming back around. I attended an event. And I know sometimes people are like weird about events and paying money to stuff, right? Because we just all want everything for free. We want we want life-changing information and access to people <laughs> for free. I went to this event 
in 2018. It was the very first one. It was my buddy Sean Canals grow with video live, and me and Zach drove up there. Did we take my Prius? Or what, what car? Yeah, did the we Prius. Take? Yeah, we took the Prius up into Vegas, 2006 Prius. And we attended this event, Grow With Video Live. I had 5,000 subscribers at the time. It, within about 26 months of attending this event, my YouTube income had completely replaced my other income and some. I was able to bring on Zach full time and I was edging on to 60, 70,000 subscribers, okay? And it was literally a couple of changes in my day-to-day -day life, a couple of changes in terms of being able to take risk and drive. And I didn't even, like, we could barely make it financially to this event, but I knew I had to be at this event. I had figured out the health aspect, and I was like, okay, I got to figure out the YouTube things because I can't just keep doing YouTube. And the good news is this event is happening this week. Oh, yeah. And the and the great news is the whole thing's came full circle, and now I am actually going to be on a panel Wednesday at the same event. The very event that changed my life that my buddy Sean put on is the event that I'm going to be at this Wednesday. And speaking on a panel of what is working right now on YouTube. So if you have any aspirations of making it in YouTube, of being a creative entrepreneur, and specifically Christian, like Sean is unapologetically Christian. Dave Ramsey is going to be there, um, the OG content creator. I will be speaking on a panel Wednesday, and I'll be there the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Zach, Chris, Samaje, our whole team is going to be there. This is the first time we're going somewhere as a team. And so if you're anywhere near Southern California, I don't have a promo code for you guys. I don't I don't have anything like But if you're anywhere near Southern California, excuse me, if you're anywhere near Las Vegas, you should plan to be at this event. If you're, if you're interested in the things that we are talking about regarding changing the trajectory of potentially your YouTube channel, changing the trajectory of your business, changing the trajectory of your finances, this would be the event to get to. And so I'm excited and it's really dope to see the whole thing come around where I, I went from just barely making it to the event to now speaking at the event and, uh, and bringing my whole team, all of our full-time employees to the event. And so I'm very excited about that. And I'm, I'm, if you're in Vegas, near Vegas, you want to come, uh, I highly recommend that you get there. All right. The link is just Grow With Video Live, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you type in Grow With Video Live on Google, you can find it. If you go to Sean Cannell's Instagram. This is not a free event, by the way. This is not a cheap event. Yeah. I don't think it's free or cheap. It's not free or cheap, <laughs> but it is an event that I highly recommend you get to, especially if you're near Vegas, if this is within driving distance from you and you're serious about YouTube and you're serious about growing your platform and all these sorts of things. I'm not on a flyer. It's okay. I don't need to be on a flyer. All right. You were a you were a last minute addition. I was a last minute addition. He didn't even know you would you would be able to pull up, and you did. Yep. 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 Yeah, man. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's great. I love it. I vaguely remember us being in the hotel too, and you'd be like, "Man, if, if we could just unlock this YouTube thing." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, man. Something go pop." That's what we used to say all the time. Something gonna pop. Thank you so much for watching that video. Guys, I believe that one of the best ways you can build a business is by first building a platform online. So Zach Sparazzo put together a free training for you on the number one metric you can be looking for to explode your YouTube platform. Click the link in the pinned comment below so you can start that now. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.